Okay, we're back with our original meet that we had already set up in the previous episode. Um, I've cleared out all the teams and the athletes that we imported. Um, I wanted to show you that s there are many different ways that you can do results for a meet. Um, you may not have the entries ahead of time. You might just want Race Tab to manually type in the results as they come in. Um, pr people who use the old version of Race Tab are familiar with this because this is the way the whole program used to be where you just manually type in the results into a spreadsheet format. Um, now you'll notice we, I do have my event set up but I have no teams and no athletes. And what I'm going to do is just go to the results tab and click this link that says manual input. And what this is going to do is bring up kind of a spreadsheet format for me. And all I need to do here is I just go through here and I type in the names of the athletes and from the results. So rather than typing it on paper first, I'm going to just type it into here. So let me just put in a few names. And let me put me down here really 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 slow how about that alright so then I'm gonna click import and then all of my uh, my times are in here in the results part of it it created all the athletes for me and it created all the teams for me so that's all you have to do um, it's, it's a really big time saver rather than writing on paper manually calculating the team scores just do it in here it will save you a lot of time it will look really professional and nobody will ever know the difference